Hello everybody. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, I am. And now I'm going to make your day even better. Right, let's choose a nice phrasal verb. Uh, take, take, take. Take home, take in, take from, take. Take after. Okay, take after is a phrasal verb, which means to resemble. Um, particularly when you're talking about your family. Um, to resemble, yeah. For example, uh, I take after my father. Uh, my father takes after his father. Now, um, I have got two daughters. Uh, one of them is not here and one of them is here, actually, on the sofa next to me right now. Um, if you don't mind, Costanza, I will use you for this example. Uh, Woohoo! Oh, thank you very much. Right, um, I'll just move over a tad so I can demonstrate this phrasal verb even better. Um, as I was saying, I take after my father, whose name is Emil. Well, that's just some extra information for you. Um, but uh, my own, uh, Costanza takes after me, I think. Costanza, come over and I'll just demonstrate that, please. Uh, introducing my lovely daughter, Costanza. Big smile. Hi. Have to bob down a bit. Oh. Come down. Oh, that's it. Now, as you can see, just, that, that's it. Okay. This is Costanza. She is the next generation, my daughter, and she takes after me, the previous generation. Okay. Take, take, Costanza takes after mommy. Mwah. You can go now. Off you go and study. Bye. Thank you, Costanza. So, Costanza takes after me. We're talking about the family. The other phrasal verb, just while we are here, is look like. So, take after, um, Costanza takes after me. To look like also means to uh, resemble, to be similar to, but not necessarily in the family. Um, you can think of a famous person, a historical figure, um, a pop star, a film star. Um, for example, Costanza takes after me. Uh, Costanza looks like... Oh, let me find something in my lesson plans here. Costanza... Uh, oh, here's one. For example, uh, this is a statue... A Giacometti sculpture. Um, hello, Andrea. Hi. Um, this is a Giacometti sculpture. We could say Costanza looks like uh, this sculpture, but she takes after me. Now, just for your information, um, take after and look like are both group two phrasal verbs. Therefore, uh, transitive, but inseparable. So, Costanza takes after her mother. Costanza takes after her, or me in this case. You cannot separate take from after. The same goes for look like. Uh, Costanza looks like a Giacometti sculpture, or Costanza looks like uh, this. She looks like it. Okay. Um, I think that is all for today. Um, I hope that has made your day uh, a little bit merrier. Um, I'll catch up with you next time. Thank you very much. Uh, have a lovely day and goodbye.